Yo, what's up, dorks? I mean, Skittle Squad. <laughs> hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Kelvin here, and today we are here for another Dungeon Quest video. I know this week I've been racking out Dungeon Quest videos like crazy, like mad. Anyways, this time we will be doing Speed versus Power or Warriors. In this video, guys, I will demonstrate the benefits of having speed and benefits of having power in the brand new map, brand new dungeon, Steampunk Sewers. Make sure to watch the entire video so you guys can deduct which is a better skill to use so that you will have an easier time. Before I begin, make sure you smash the like button, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And without further ado, let's get this party started. Okay, folks, here we are right in front of the advanced dummies. I'll turn around and show you guys what I usually like to do before the speed runs, before the test runs, is pretty much show you my damage. Even though you might have watched my few previous videos before regarding how much damage I do, sometimes it changes based on my gear, sometimes it changes based on my uh, stats. So I like to demonstrate first. But, anyways, I will be using two different skills this time for the speed first power run for warriors. And the first skill I will be using for power will be Chain Energy Blast. I know a lot of you are probably wondering why specifically Chain Energy Blast. I mean, this time it's a little bit more apparent because it's the only range power skill that we can really rely on. However, I usually like to choose the best power and range balance so that it can give me enough distance to do my damage and gives me enough... I guess AOE to kill mobs that are regular, not like bosses. Anyways, what the Chain Energy Blast does is smashes the ground, creating energy blasts forward, scales off physical power, it's a level 124, and it's a nightmare skill. And the next skill I will be using for speed would be Arrow Rain. This is an insane skill you can only grab from insane level 119. Calls down a rain of arrows and gains a movement speed boost, scales off physical power. So it's pretty apparent based on warriors of what you should be using. Tomorrow when I do do the mage video, it's going to be a little harder, but I'll explain to you which specific skill I'll use tomorrow. Anyways, definitely go grab Arrow Rain for speed. Now let's still demonstrate both skills for you. So the first one is Arrow Rain that I'll test out because, you know, it's doing 2.6, 2.7 billion damage. It gives me a movement speed. One thing you need to remember is this is not the skill Blade Storm. I believe it was Blade Storm from the canals, which which does not do overtime damage, it leaves behind a damage uh, circle AOE and you can move away from it and end up just not doing any damage around yourself. It's not surrounding you like Blade Storm or Cyclone from Samurai. And then let's go test out Chain Energy Blast. It's an enormous range everybody, it does so much damage, enormous range and it does pulsing, which makes it just ridiculous. This is one of the most OP warrior skills ever and I will be comparing both skills and you will see in just a bit which of these skills is better for a warrior anyways the stats i will be using and popping up is 122 physical power 21 stamina my goal here is try to hit 2 million just because i believe 2 million is the perfect hp mark for anybody doing steampunk sewers i mean obviously you can drop it down to a little less if you're a better dodger but without further talking let's jump into the clip
right, folks. As you can probably see, there was quite a bit of a difference in runs. Uh, sometimes I would have such great benefits as a ranged character, as a ranged power user against bosses. But at the same time, I couldn't get out of some of the AOEs. And then when I was using the range skill, Arrow Rain, I was able to kill regular mobs a lot faster, go and, you know, speed out of like boss AOEs. However, there are many times within boss fights where I just couldn't get close. And guys, please, you have to forgive me on this. It's just that boss skills in a second boss, first boss, third boss, you just can't get too close because of how the stripe works. The closer you are to the source of the stripes, which is the boss, the easier you can get hit by multiple stripes. And when they do 900k damage, 1 million damage per hit, I mean, even with 2 million, I can literally get killed. So that's why I had to stay away. And that's why my playstyle had to be quite different. It wasn't going to be a perfect run. I hope you guys can kind of deduct for yourself and see from the video what you think is better. And at the end of the day, it really does come down to your playstyle on how well you do in these dungeon runs. So uh, I wish you guys all luck. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And make sure you guys go join the Kelvin GTS Robux Scoop. Check out the merch and represent. Until we play again next time. Peace out, y'all.